did a little addition to that last tutorial so about 3D lighting because I didn't uh, cover that. Um, cool. So After Effects, as well as having 3D objects, you can have 3D lighting in camera as well. I've shown you the camera. Uh, but we can also have lighting effects. So if you go to Layer, New, Light, you've got a few different options for the type of light. Um, quite often people use point lights. Andrew Kramer uses that in his tutorials. They're probably the the simplest type of light. I like using spotlights because they give you a lot of control and you can actually do like little spotlights on, on objects. Um, the other one that's good to know is the ambient light because that basically controls the shadows in the scene as well. Uh, what I might do is though is just start with a point light and we're going to turn on the cast shadows and we're going to hit OK. As you can see straight away you can see a difference to the scene. It has a lot more depth and mood to it and even if I were just to leave that light static like that maybe I'll make it a little bit brighter by changing the intensity here that looks a bit better even without doing any movement to it if I hit the zero key you should find that as the objects move into that position they'll get brighter which again gives it that illusion of 3D mm -hmm. But what if you wanted to be a little bit more creative than that? Well, you could actually bring the light. You could animate that light in. So again, working backwards, start at one second. Hit P for position. We can animate the light to finish there. Make that an easy ease just to be safe. Now, now we'll go back to the start. We could actually make that light sort of position move down into that position. Not really seeing much of a difference there, so let's maybe exaggerate it a bit more. So maybe it can even come from behind the background. And let's see what happens. Pretty cool, huh? So it gives it that, that feeling of um, everything sort of being moved into the light, or the sun kind of sh rising over the horizon. Actually quite happy with that. Um, while we're here, I might show you some other things you can do with lighting. I mentioned there was a different type of light called the spotlight. I'm going to show you what that looks like. Layer, new, light, uh, spotlight. And um, yeah, as you can see here, it's a 3D type of light. It's got two parts to it. One is the light itself and two is its um, target here. It's, it's sort of um, point of interest. As you can see, you can sort of move it around. So if I were to like make this light a little bit less intense, like that, you can see that this spot light can actually be used to um, kind of selectively light parts of the scene. And you could even like sort of make it do a little search, search pattern type thing as well. 